everyone so in this video I'll be explaining to you about custom scripts so what are custom scripts now if you wish to change any ERP next form formats such as let's say I have this employee doc type over here alright so what I want is after I submitted all of these details after submitting I want the first name or let's say the date of birth or date of joining to be read only that means you cannot edit it once it is saved so if you want to achieve this functionality then that can be done using custom script and there are many things that can be done so one thing to note is that custom script is written in JavaScript it is on the client side all right and apart from this functionality we have various functionalities such as date validation and we have uh, such as like sales invoice ID based on sales order ID we can generate that also and then we can add a custom button and let it do some tasks such as I'll go to job applicant I think I've added one of the button over there let me see oh yeah this do something button that I have tried it using custom script before so you can do like with this job offer we can create a um, job offer and then with this do something I can add some other functionality over here in this doc type if I want to so this is what custom script is all about now in this video I'll be explaining to you a very a very simple custom script alright just to give you a brief about what custom script is all about now to write a custom script you'll have to go to custom script list and this is one way to create a custom script and another way to create a custom script is to go into the doc type list select any doc type in which you want to make a custom script let's say I want to make a custom script an employee doc type then over here we have this um, customization part over here and then we can go into custom script from here so that is one way and the another way is by going into custom script list and then adding one of the script so let's go so these are all the custom script now I'll create a new custom script so what I, what I will do is alright let me duplicate this so remember we created an institute uh, custom doc type so what I'll do is I'll do some functionality on this I'll do some stuff on this that means after saving this institute name I want to make this read only only so how do I do that let's see now to make a custom script first you'll select a doc type in for which you want to make a custom script so let's say I want to make a custom script for institute all right and then after you select you get this um, this trapeze.ui.form on this is this form dot on is I mean this is the institute form so on this form for this particular form we'll be writing a script right so let's add so we'll use this form dot set property and We'll select which field do we want to make read only and then we'll write lose read only and then if form is new then we'll do this alright so now which which field do I want to make um, read only so let's have a look right now I want institute name to be read only so let's go to customize and have a look at the field name what is the field name and then we can add it so it is name one alright so I want the name one field I want the name one field to be read only all right so this this uh, this particular uh, form dot set df property so it will make it read only after I save it all right 
so let's save alright and I'll enable this script now okay now let's go to institute from here we have this button that is go to institute so directly I'll go to institute and I'll create a new institute alright let's create a new institute named Indian School of Business and I'll add address Hyderabad and contact let's say I'll add that later so let's save it alright so you see after I saved it now this particular field has been read only now it cannot be edited or we cannot do any changes into it so this is all what custom script is all about now you might want to like over here we have this documentation small documentation so set a if you want to do some more validation then you can do it using custom script and you can also calculate the sales incentive which is present over here so custom script is quite helpful if you want to add some more customization add some more cu functionality which is not there uh, in a standard ERP next so that can be done so I hope you understood everything about the custom script if you have any doubt then do mention them in the comment we'll be explaining to you thank you